the major flaws in this can the decline be attributed to the opening of hyzen that is the most important flaw and the most basic flaw i would say there is no causal relationship that the author has drawn this may just be a case of uh, coincidence not a correlation as everything else such as comparative landscape industry size lifestyle trends of people in the city has all of that remained the same that's important to establish before coming to the conclusion that the author has drawn then is the experience of two multiplexes really the same he has talked about the sizes and all being the same but there is so much more to a movie experience than the size of the seats there may be various other factors such as sound quality service quality availability of parking location a lot of those factors author has completely ignored those very logical points had the author ex- suggested that even these other important factors are just the same then probably his argument would be more convincing looking at the next flaw lack of head to head comparison between the two companies so even if hyzen has taken a part of the fivoxes pie is hyzen doing well it is possible that the other company is spending a lot as well while it is charging its patrons more maybe it is also spending a lot and it may not be doing very well so a head to head comparison of revenues and profitability would be very important for uh, reaching the kind of uh, conclusion author has reached thereafter there is clear lack of evidence in concluding about consumers perceived luxury by paying higher no psychometric analysis or study or survey has been done to back this claim and in the current state this this looks very very hasty this just looks like a personal opinion rather than a logical argument and now coming to the solution that the author has suggested author has suggested increasing price but he has not talked about any lack of or reduction in business that is going to happen because of the increase in price Cer- certainly certain consumers may lose their loyalty because of increase in price and no financial analysis has been suggested for such business loss in fact there is no numerical financial analysis to quantify the results it says just increase the prices significantly it does not tell what effect it would have on the revenues and what effect it would have on the overall profitability so in the current form this this sounds a very sentimental argument rather than a logical or analytical argument this is about the business strategy that a particular company must have this requires very very clear analytical approach One suggestion the argument would be stronger if the author mentions a pilot study where increasing prices resulted in an enhanced perception and customer attraction generating greater revenue and profit for the company so if the author could have given one case study where a particular company in the similar industry did something like that and it gave good results it may have lent some credibility to his claims right now all of this sounds a very sentimental reasoning rather than a logical or analytical reasoning so these are the main flaws in the argument with a suggestion about what the author could have done differently coming to the structure that you should have for this uh, essay have a very clear introduction suggesting that always on the gmat you don't agree with the argument the introduction must always very clearly convey that the argument in its current state is not convincing then have a new paragraph for each flaw that you have determined so if you have determined all six flaws have six paragraphs in the stem of the essay and then have a very clear conclusion suggesting that because of these reasons in the stem of the essay the argument is not convincing that will be all thanks for watching